Welcome back to the Angling Scotland channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie this peccary perdigon. This fly is really off my cast. Absolutely love it. It's been brilliant for me for trout and for grayling. And so I thought I'd share it with you all so you can give it a go to. Materials that you're going to need. A really simple fly. So um, I've got some peccary here. Got some fluorescent pink thread. You could use orange as well. This is Semperfly fluorescent pink. There's an A toe. Need some cock de leon for the tail. Other uh, cock hackle fibres would work just as well, I'd imagine. In the vise, uh, I've got a three mil bead, tungsten bead, a size 16 partridge, SLJ wide gape jig hook. Uh, other brands are obviously available. I tend to tie these in 14s, 16s and 18s, um, most commonly fish the 16 and 18. Okay, let's get started. So, um, same procedure for any jig fly, I'm just going to put a wee bit of thread on and then I'm going to use my fingernails to keep that bead in place and I'm going to wrap a wee thread dam just behind it. That'll keep it in place, help you with your taper and it'll also stop the bead from moving as we're tying the rest of the fly. Take away that waist piece and then take our thread all the way down to the base. You want to stop just before the hook starts to bend and that will make sure that your tail comes out straight. So the next thing is your cock de leon. It's going to take a few fibres tend not to count them, just what, um, what I think looks good and I'm going to put a tail length that is no more than the length of the shank of the hook right on top with a pinching lip, a couple of turns to hold it in place and then I'm going to trim that whole length of the body and I'm going to come up and touch and turns, tidy up. The reason I trim it the full length of the body, I'm sure you've heard this before, is to give you a smooth body. It also helps with that taper, so you get a nice carrot shape, which is important for this type of fly. These flies are really good for running fast running water, anywhere you want to try and get down quickly, because they have very little resistance so you can afford to get a smaller size, a smaller bead and get down as quick as you might with, with a, a bushier fly. So now for the peccary. Now if you've not used peccary before it's essentially a quill, it's a bristle from a pig. Um, you can get synthetic if that, um, if that's more your thing. Um, Semperfly do a really nice synthetic peccary. What I'm looking for is, I don't know if you can see that, but there's nice gradation between the different colours. Uh, I'm going to tie it in at the finest end of the tip and then I'm going to wrap along and you should see hopefully a nice barred effect when I bring it up. So I'm just going to lay that against the hook, full length of the body again. I'm going to just bring my thread up in touch and turns, try and keep that stem on top or on the side, wherever you've placed it. I'm going to go back down about two thirds of the way, come back up, back down halfway, back up. That should be enough. You see it's starting to get a nice carrot shape. Now, what you want to do is you can use your hackle pliers. I don't find that I need it because they're generally quite long. And you just want to bring it up in touch and turns. Watch your hook point. Occasionally they do split. Um, if that's the case, just go back and get a new quill. So hopefully you can see that now you're starting to get the different shades. It's three turns of the white and we're into a darker colour now. I just think it's a perfect balance between a natural imitation 
and a bit of attraction with the brighter colours added in. I'm going to bring this right up behind the eye. Last turn. And just lock it off. Right up, round on top. Keep the thread tension. One, two, three. One, two, three. Generally enough. Three turns generally enough to hold most things. Trim it away. <coughs> You've got a wee tag, you can just flatten it down a wee bit. And then I'm just going to create a tiny wee collar, nothing huge. to do now is look finish and then we'll add some UV resin. Three turn whip finish, just gonna do the one because the UV resin will make it nice and secure. So you could fish it like that, just cover it with varnish and you'll be good to go. Um, I like to add a wee hot spot. Always add it on the underside because as you might know a jig hook uh, swims upside down so I want to create a thorax that's on the underside or on top um, as it swims. So I've got golf, that's uh, fluorescent pink ambulance and you do not need a lot, so just be careful here, but you want to just put a wee drop right on the thread at the bead. <coughs> and then take a dubbing needle, just enough to create the shape of a thorax. Then I'll dry that with the torch first. And now all it needs is a top coat. Really hope you're enjoying these weekly videos on the channel. I uh, would love to get some feedback in the comments. If you are enjoying them then please uh, drop this one a like, check out the other videos on the channel and feel free to subscribe. Your support would be much appreciated by everyone involved. So I'm just going round the fly, rotating in my vice, making sure that I get the UV resin, should have said it's a golf and it's a thin man, so uh, it's nice and pliable, easy to coat the entire fly without adding any bulk. So just coat the entire body, try and not get it on the tail, over the thread, over the hot spot, and then hit it with the torch. There we have it. That is the peccary. Perdigon, give it a go. Uh, I would definitely tie them in 16s. If you fish smaller rivers, I would definitely tie them in 18s. Uh, either way, give them a go because they're absolutely deadly. Thanks for watching.